But yeah, here we go. Down at, no, yeah, this is uh ooh no. This is this is quarters. Losers quarters is what we're seeing right now. Okay. So yeah, we have the Luigi coming out from Ace. That's interesting. We saw him playing Greninja earlier on stream with uh, Blue Moon's Pokemon trainer. And uh yeah. Often for the uh, the Luigi, just I think just trying out whatever. I think I think it's a good experiment. Like, it seems like he's kind of been lacking a bit of confidence in his character so far, just because he doesn't have the same team synergy that he has with Cheeks normally. Yeah. So he's just kind of messing around to see what works better in this team scenario. Yeah, I, I could see that, and also Ace and Cheeks, very much the kind of team to switch their partners around constantly yeah, you're right they, in, they, in a single they do set. it normally even if it's just a, a, a serious match <laughs> yeah Ooh, nice little uh conversion there from uh from blue team yeah closing out that stock on pichu which actually that's um oh god uh okay that's in cold going pichu mm -hmm. okay I did not know he had and, a Pichu. Yeah, he actually went Pichu earlier in the in the bracket. Oh, oh. that helped me. <laughs> wow, I thought for a second Pichu was dead because yeah, it's Pichu. Yeah, me too, because it, it, yeah, it's Pichu. But yeah, he was only like 20%. I shouldn't be surprised. Okay. Yeah, A-Rod hanging on to the stock. And I feel like with Lutina, it's very easy to play that defensive game if you have to. Oh, Unless you USD. Yeah, it's a little too low. Oh, that down here. The Encode keeps getting caught at edge time after time. Yeah, the more that I see people play on this stage in SD, the more I kind of question the edges. Yeah, the the, the, the ledges and the T-shape, it's just, it's kind of weird. It's like, it's like the actual dimensions are fine. And, oh, but it allows you to do stuff like what Encode just did there. Able to get that back air to stage spike uh, Blue Moon's Pokemon trainer. Yeah, it's just you can't see the entire dimensions, and that's the problem. If you could see everything, that'd be better. Like Town and City, like if you, like you, or Town and City or Smashville, like you can actually see the ledges there, and you understand where you need to recover. Here it's a Ooh, little bit harder. I did. <laughs> Luigi's back throw is really strong now. I did not know that for some reason. That's good. Helps the Pichu's the lightest character in the game. Oh, he had that too. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Surprisingly good play coming out from um, A Rod and Incool. Yeah, they've got a pretty good lead here. Oh, oh no! I'm 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 wondering why he upbeat so early. Maybe he had already used his jump. I lost track of it. Maybe he did too. Good luck escaping this situation, Blue. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> is pretty rough. Oh, A Rod going for the dunk. I I think I feel like that's a little greedy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they were they didn't have to coordinate at all. Yeah, they were they just, just like wanted the kill. They were just swinging. Yeah. But I I guess it worked. Yeah. Yep, so that's going to be a rod and cold up a game. Yeah, I think yeah, Ace is trying to figure out like what he needs to change or what he's going to tell Blue Moon to change cuz I that's it's kind of a hard situation to be in. Um like blue's doing okay in doubles, um, but when you have that kind of dis that difference in skill of like being able to play, like have that mindset for doubles, mm -hmm. um, it's you have to choose like, all right, do I fully adapt my play style to work around his play style, or do I get him and coach him and teach him on the fly of to do these things so we can meld better together? Yeah, it really is kind of it's just hard. It's a lot of hard decisions. Yeah, and it and it's. And part of that too is your synergy with your partner. Yep. And it's you know you can still be two good doubles partners, but if you uh just if you can't don't work have that instinct. Yeah, and you just can't really predict what your partner is gonna do. You can't really help them out and work with them. And I feel like Ace does a really good job of that in general, mm. of being able to adapt on that. But and the thing again with doubles is like there's a lot of scramble situations that happen and it gets a little bit frantic mm. so it's kind of hard to be able to see and adapt and understand what's going on oh, oh yeah but especially in ultimate yeah i was able oh! to see and adapt to that two stock that just that went right just took. There. yep man i was able to use the downbeat into the immediate spike to take out both uh ace and blue that was incredible <laughs> man 
So he had it, no he, why, fear. Why out does there. he not play the Pichu in bracket? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. It, it might be kind of a doubles thing where he can get away with some stuff that he can't normally in singles. Oh no. Maybe maybe we'll see it tonight in singles. Yeah, we I'd might. love to see it. He's right. just kind of freestyling on them right now, though. Just getting to do what the Pichus love to do and press those buttons and yeah. forward tilt twice on shield because it's super plus for whatever I, I reason. Forward tilt's so dumb on Pichu. Okay, yeah, he's just like going in, mm -hmm. just smashing his face on that C stick. <laughs> oh, going for a thunder confirm next. Oh yeah, good avoidance there. Mm. Getting able, uh, Ace able to avoid that down air spike from Inkle. What just happened? Oh, oh no. Ace S T again. It's really isn't looking good for Blue Team right now. Yeah, just they got they, the mo like Red Team got the momentum so early. Yeah, they've they been able to do what they want. Oh, all right. Okay. Good switch. Good swap. Yeah. Because that's the thing is, I feel like, I feel like Blue Team might could do this on a better day, but right now they just seem too overwhelmed to really do much to get the momentum yeah. going and i think it's just that red team just turned it up and like they're just playing really well oh the tech coming out from a-rod but oh, he still died yeah he, he didn't realize he buffered a directional air dodge out of that tech it was very unfortunate okay blue team still has a shot here they yeah, need they to do take, have a shot now they need to get rid of this pichu that's gonna be hard to do pichu's so small so small so hard to hit so plus on everything he does. You'd think the Zard could kind of take him out, but Zard's struggling to land right now. All right. So yeah, now we're down to the 2v1. This is not looking good for blue team. Oh. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> just in cold is looking for these yeah. spikes so hard. He just, he, he, he's not afraid to go deep. Okay, yeah, it's just has to stay collected, be patient. There we go. Hmm. It's one stock down. Still, to, he's at zero, or he's at 130 in a 2v1 with a player basically at 0%. Cannot be easy. Yeah, it's going to just depend on how overconfident Blue Team gets. And they were feeling themselves in game one because yeah. uh, they were kind of just like they were doing stuff like that. They were just kind of like press the buttons right in each other's faces just because they want to get the hit themselves and not really wait for the partner. Or, but or just tilt, you know, yeah. throw out that big toe from the Pichu. <laughs> Close out that stock to, to win. Give him give him the, the smash ultimate Ganon foot. Yeah, but good stuff to Aerod and Encole. They were playing oh, really yeah. well. That was impressive. Yeah, like. I, I was surprised by just how dominant they were in that set. Yeah, for sure. It's really just Encold was able to go in, do what he wanted to with Pichu. Just, you mm -hmm. know, I imagine you dying to my thunder and then down air spike, and it happens. And yep. then from there, just... That was... That just really was the play yeah. of the set right there. Yeah, that like, was that just, fantastic. That clinched it.